Hey, Sierra, good morning. When you're asked to honor someone's legacy like Eugene Parker, you obviously want to do a good job. But for two Concordia members, Ken and Garrett, they made a new legacy while honoring an old one. In the early 1960s, this place has been known as the cage. Now it's getting a makeover, and it's being done by an unlikely pair. Ken Fenner and Garrett Rankin both have Concordia ties, but by nearly 50 years. One graduated in 1975, the other one's still a senior. This job is a labor of love. I wanted to take on because it was, a, to me, it was an honor to be able to do this for Concordia and everything. It's something for me to give back to the high school and everything. As a 1975 graduate, Ken has dreamed of doing something special for his alma mater. Garrett is still a senior, but when he was asked to be a part of something special, he took that opportunity and ran with it. I, thought, I saw it as a really good teaching opportunity and a good learning opportunity. Also, it's cool when I'm sitting up in the student section to know that I help lay the floor down and do everything. The floor is being named after Fort Wayne great Eugene Parker. While at Concordia, he played basketball on the original floor along with teammate Greg Rayberg. He says he was the type of teammate any player would want to have. Playing with uh, Eugene was just amazing. All the teammates loved him. And what Eugene did is he always made you better. In other words, he would always challenge you to, you know, hey, dribble better, shoot better, uh, pass the ball better. But he also was a very good friend, and he would always take care of you in any way that you would ask him to take care of you. When asked how he felt to have a teammate and friend be honored the way Eugene is, Greg says it's special. We treasure it, and so uh, to us, it, it, it means a lot to us. I can't tell you how much. It, it, as a matter of fact, it's emotional. Mm -hmm. It is an emotional thing, yes. There's a special bond between Concordia alumni and the students, sort of like a family. The entire floor was all done by hand, a summer's long project that took hours to finish. That's why when it came time to build and redo the floor, the family at Concordia was there to help. We had teachers who provided labor this summer while there was a shortage and Ken needed some added extra help. And then of course Garrett uh, being employed by Ken all summer was a great mentoring opportunity for him. And um, so it's a, it's a Concordia family project. Redoing an entire gym floor is no easy task. And while Ken and Garrett didn't do it to be recognized, their hard work is being seen. I can't express all the thanks that, that we can give them. They put in extra hours. They tried to make everything look perfect. And when you have people taking that extra time, that love, that care for our gymnasium, you can't thank them enough. We are all on behalf of the whole Concordia faculty, staff, alumni, uh, we're very, very thankful that Ken was the one who put his time and effort and for Garrett uh, to be there along with him the whole way. We are grateful. Um, this has been a craftsman's job. Even though they didn't know each other before, they're leaving here best friends. A new legacy is made while honoring an old one. Their legacy is forever stamped on this floor. Um, I really appreciate everything you taught me. It's definitely a great learning experience and just thank you for teaching me. I really enjoyed it. It's been an honor to work with him, and I'd do another job with him anytime. And such a great story there. The floor was finished and unveiled yesterday, and a formal ceremony to honor Eugene Parker will happen later on this year. I'm Charles Benberry, Wayne 15 News.